Hi, this is P.R. Sundar. Welcome to this special episode where I am going to discuss about some sectors that are likely to outperform during the next one year. The first I came out with a video what happened last year. The second video was what is going to happen during the next one year. And today I am going to focus on certain sectors. To just give you an example, in 2022, uh, the Nifty has given only 4-5% return. But banking stocks have given about 20-21% return. Out of that banking stocks, the PSU banks gave about 60-70% return. At the same time, technological stocks or IT stocks have given minus 25% return. Although overall level, the Nifty is 3-4% up, but it is not that every sector fall 3-4%, but some sector up 60%, some sector minus 25%, the average only comes out to be this. So therefore, uh, if you want to take a slightly higher risk and you have to choose a sector that is likely to perform well over the next one year rather than investing in uh, Nifty Bs or exchange traded funds. The two sectors I have identified for the coming year. One is IT sector. So other one is a PSU banks. Let me go one by one. The first let us look at the IT sector. So why I am bullish about IT sector for the next year. So number one, US markets. Whichever year the US market closed in negative, the following year that has given at least 15% return. So this is the statistics. There were only four instances where despite the first year closing negative, the second year also closed negative. But in all other years, if one year is closed negative, the next year it closes higher that I already discussed in my previous video. The chances are very high that our Nifty can go towards 21,000, 15 to 20% return, but IT stocks has already given minus 25% return. And when the things settle down in US, when the things settle down in other countries, so when the global economy picks up, so IT will be the one uh, to recover fast will be the first one and moreover the downside risk from here is very very limited that's because you know first IT stocks are considered as a defensive stocks and uh, most of the IT stocks give a very good dividend yield say for example you take the case of OFSS Oracle Financial Software Services its high is 4,500 rupees, 52 week high or all time high. Now it is trading around 3,000. So it is already about 33% down. At 3,000, the dividend yield alone is more than 6%. So it's a defensive stock. It's a very good stock and it has already fallen 30-35% and now trading at a dividend yield of more than 6%. So unless, you know, the world comes to an end. So this stock may not correct much, but however, even if it retraces what it has lost in last one year, that alone can give you 25-30% return. So if you are getting 25-30% return in capital appreciation plus 6% dividend yield, so that can be an extraordinary investment. Next year, US problems are likely to be solved. NASDAQ is likely to perform well. So in that case, IT stocks will come back into favor very soon. In all probability, we can expect IT index to wipe out the last year losses. Even if that happens, already you will be getting about 25% return. And many of the stocks, including Infosys TCS, you know, so there are like uh, decent dividend yielding stocks. Dot com bubble, all the IT stocks came down and the leaders emerged. 2008 Lehman Brother collapse. 2020 coronavirus so IT industry survived and all the onslaughts and uniformly they have done very well so next year one sector I'm focusing is a IT in IT since I'm not a very high risk taker when it comes to investment so I'm looking to invest in OFSS and I've already invested and then you know Every month I keep selling some call options around uh, like 8 to 10 percent away from the current market price. So if that goes wrong, how to manage, you know, that's going to be very difficult for me to explain here that we do it in our workshop for three to four hours. I'm happy 
if i get 6% dividend yield another 6% through call selling another 6% capital appreciation uh, i know i will be getting around 18% return you know i'm just putting it in a very very conservative mode 5 to 6% but you know i will not be surprised even if i get 25 30% return and if you are confused which stock to buy what you can do you can just go and buy uh, it index it index exchange traded fund so that's the best one you can do and uh, just for you i'm just going to show you here nifty 50 in the last one year it has given minus 0 0.37 why because i'm just doing this on 7th of january so in the last seven days the market has fallen last 365 days but look at the it index in the same period it has given about minus 27.59 percent so it index in last one year it has fallen about 28 percent and look there are 10 stocks in this one out of the 10 stocks so there are five stocks which are trading closer to 52 week low so if you are a contra investor and it sector is the worst performing sector last year and that can you know it need not do very well even if it recovers what it has lost in last one year so already you are going to get about 28 percent return and 25 anything more than 20 percent return in cash market is something very very good and moreover if you are an hni client you can buy the shares you can just give it for pledging you can get the uh, limit for trading and you can make some money uh, through trading so it's not that you know you are putting like you know if you are putting 10 lakh rupees it's not necessarily you have to get 2.5 lakh rupees profit because for 10 lakh rupees you are putting it and then you are pledging it and you are getting about let us say 8 lakh rupees limit so for that 8 lakh you know you just trade you make some profit so that means effectively you are putting only 2 lakh rupees and then if you get 20 percent return so that becomes 100 percent return for you you know these are like you know the people who are really very good who have hna clients who can buy in lots then can sell call options actively who can do the trading also actively and so on so this is one particular sector as a contra investor i'm very much interested i think the video has become a lengthy one my other sector I will discuss in the next video. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.